Hello guys, welcome to my first Blender tutorial. I'm Blender in the Sky, and today I will be showing you how to create my sci fi Blender game engine demo scene, which you can see on my channel. So, we will use a basic cube and put a bunch of modifiers on it. And starting with a screw modifier, we will change the angle to 180 degrees and the steps to 20, also for rendering and the screw amount to 12.5 which will give us this kind of column over here just let me check um, if, I done ev if I've done everything right oh no, okay, we will leave the angle at 360 degrees so with this we will add a subdivision surface modifier and leave everything as we have it and then we will add another screw modifier this time only 180 degrees with 20 steps again and a screw amount of let me check of 10 and this time it will be going into the x-axis and this way we will be getting this structure we can see here and the uh, last final thing if you look it at it in wireframe mode it looks pretty complex right now the last final thing will be to add in a wireframe modifier and yeah that's actually how the modeling was done with this so we can finish this up over here and then next thing will be to change to textured view and also under the shading we change to GLSL and after that also we will switch to Blender Game Engine so now we'll do some work on the material so I like to have it a little bit darker and also with a watts low specular shader and this will also be a little bit blue so it kind of gets the impression that we're looking at metal and then I think we can crank down the slope a little bit so it's even a harder specular amount and next thing will be lighting so this is pretty cool because um, how this reacts to light it looks pretty interesting and you can do pretty cool stuff with this so for instance I'm going to use a bluish light over here something like this and change the distance a little bit down and then we'll add another lamp but this time it will be yellow so we're getting a lot of different colors over here and this will have a lot more strength but also a thinner radius so I think this looks pretty cool and maybe um, I think we can move this a little bit more over here and I think we can have another light over here which is a little bit red orangey like it only has a slight effect so turn down the energy a lot and this is our lighting so next step will be to do our camera animation and this we will do quite simple so place a camera something like this I think looks fine add in a keyframe then go some frames and go over here oh no okay back to where we started because I placed keyframes on the lamp so I started in my demo with this something like this so place a keyframe here next thing will be something like this rotation place a new keyframe let's see how it looks yeah camera is pretty nice then flying through here and rotating it something like this and 
let's see, I also have to get the timing right, so open up the dope sheet in the left corner and uh, move some keyframes over to the side and then we will set the end of our animation to be a little bit far behind and set some more keyframes so make it make the camera dive into the structure I guess so something like this and let's see if the timing looks good everything looks fine yeah so next keyframe um, okay. rotate the camera and now it gets really hard to control but I think you have something like this Let's see if it looks cool. Mm. No, that's not what I wanted. So, let's see. We go like this. Okay, let's delete the last keyframe. Um, go something like this. Rotate it. Let's see. Yep, and then rotate it even more over here and make it fly through here and oh no why why is it moving so strange so hmm, guess we will have to add in some manual keyframes yeah. But I think it's okay and you get the idea, so we'll leave it with this. Also, um, let's change the clipping of the camera to a le very low value, so um, objects don't get invisible near to the camera. And then we will um, change the horizon color to a completely black. And next thing will be to do our game logic, so pretty simple stuff. No, not an actual. We want an always sensor and an action actuator, and then we plug in it here and the camera action. And I have to show look where it ends. So frame 535. So last frame. So leave it like this. And then one other cool thing is to change the resolution so we get a kind of white frame picture which um, is also looking very cool and then we can change to the full window and press P So, this is looking pretty cool right now, but I actually forgot one very fundamental thing, which is textures. So, we want to add a texture here, and we add an image texture, and open up um, a random metal texture, I think this one look will be good. And then, important, we change the mapping coordinates to global coordinates and also the size of the texture to 5x5x5 five by five by five and multiply it and do some normal on it so as you can see now we got some pretty weird normals but if we change the space to texture space it looks a lot better and then also the normal we can turn down to 0.5 or something like this so if we look at it now um, it looks way better so you really get the idea that this is something like metal um, and something like this stuff so one thing I'm actually missing is um, some interesting light over here so we don't see something of this here so let's add in mm, I think something like this would look pretty cool good so now 
next thing will be to add in 2D filters. Um, I already got mine here, so I've got a cube on which I have um, three filters applied, a bloom, a film grain and a DOF filter. And I also already set them up for my um, scene for the video, so I won't change anything here, but um, you can also change stuff on the filters and with these you can easily see it looks a lot cooler than before and looks way more interesting um, also if some objects get really near to the camera it looks a little bit weird but I think it also looks pretty cool so I um, leave it like this right now one last thing is to add in the sky in the the stars in the background. So for this I simply used um a stars texture, so really just a plane with texture of some stars which I placed behind our scene. And then what I did was I scrolled through my animation and looked whenever I needed more stars to fill in the blank spots. So as you can see over here there are no stars there so I guess we will need some more there so we'll just copy the plane, rotate it around and see out of the camera view how it's looking so I guess we have to rotate it 90 degrees and place it correctly so like this then we got the stars over here let's go on so next would be to place some more stars, I guess over here, yep. And since there's so much happening in foreground, you won't actually see seams or something like this. Um, but what you have to notice and keep in mind that the textures shouldn't clip through your object. So. I guess it looks fine right now, there's a blank spot, but I think no one will see that. Okay, we can scale up the star's texture a bit. So, I think that's it. Let's give it a try. Okay, yeah, now, so, um, the sky texture is really near to the object, and then you can clearly see that it's moving way too much. But, um... Yeah, I think you can fix this. Or maybe I just go we'll go in here and let's see. It's this I guess, yep. We will move this way more back I don't know. So which one did I have the problems with this one? So just place it correctly and then I think that's it. Let's have another look at it. Yeah, here we go. So it's looking a little bit better now. And that's a lot of stuff for you to tweak, but I think it looks pretty cool and pretty cool effect I found out. And yeah, I'm interested to see your videos, so please tell me if you seen the tutorial and if you've done everything anything out of it. And yeah, always subscribe and thumbs up and bye, see you next time.